Alright, question number five pula. So, this one is a projectile motion yang at an angle lah. At an angle that is not 90 degree ataupun 0 degree. 0 degree tada. Kamu ada 90 ataupun uh, between 1 to 90 degree. Okay. Alright, so this is the football. And then it leaves the ground at an angle of 37 degree. So this is U. Okay, so whenever you, whenever, a, an, a, if the, your exam questions is something like this, yang ada angle, kamu perlu extract dia pergi, sorry, you have to extract the initial velocity pergi uh, its x and y components lah. So firstly, we are going to extract Piggy x component. So ux is equal to 20 cos 37 degree. Next one is 20 sin 37 degree. Lah. Okay. So we have to calculate its maximum height. Okay. So its maximum height is uh, where the velocity at the y component is equal to zero so you can let sy to be equal to h max la. so this is gonna be vy equal vy square uy square minus 2gsy okay so we know that vy here is equal to zero so our equation is gonna be h max equal to uy square over to g okay so it's gonna be 20 sine 37 degree over 29.81 which gives you 7.39 meter okay yeah all right <clears throat> lepas tu dia minta apa dia minta the time of travel before the football hits the ground before the football hits the ground, it's gonna be. Uh, okay, so what we will be doing is we know that this is the path that the football is going. Okay, so what we can do is we can find the time for the ball to reach its maximum height here and we times it with 2 to give us the time of flight of this. Uh, the time of the time of flight I think it's that is what we call okay the time for the whole journey of this football lah. okay so macam mana kita mau cari tu again kita akan apply vy equal to zero so dari sini kita sekarang kita mau cari time so vy is equal to u, ui minus gt maximum okay so vy is equal to zero then we are looking for the time which is gonna be ui over g okay so that is 20 sine 37 degree over 9.81 which will give you sine 37 over 9.81 is 1.23 seconds okay so this is only to reach the maximum height so the time of travel is actually twice the time to reach its maximum height okay so kamu just perlu darab 2 1.23 ni kamu darab 2 Kamu akan dapat, uh, ataupun kamu darab dari, there's gonna be a difference of 1.1 je bani. Tapi, kita guna 2.45 seconds lah. Eh, 2.46 sebab kita selalu letak 2.43 di situ. 2.46 seconds as the time of travel. Okay, so harap kamu faham, the bit that you need to understand is, the time of travel will always be equal to twice the time to reach the maximum height. 
Okay, untuk projectile motion yang angle dia macam ni. Okay, yang flu, uh, yang the journey begini. Alright, kalau dia begini, tidaklah, itu lain. Jangan kamu buat macam tu. Okay, next question C is how far away it hits the ground. So, that is SX, UX, T. So, UX is 20 cos 37 degree, 2.46. Okay, 20 cos 37 times 2.46 is equal to 39.29 meter. Okay, so that is your range lah. How far away it hits the ground. Okay, so that is question number 5. And this is all for chapter 1 and chapter 2.